solve this uh, exponential equation. Move my pen to work. There we go. We got e to the 2x plus 7 e to the x minus 18 equals 0. Now this is a u substitution, so we're going to let the middle part minus the number in front, the coefficient, be u, and the first part be u squared. Now how I know it's the u substitution is if you can take the middle part, uh, ignoring the number in front of it, if you can take the middle part, take the second power, and it gives you the first part, that's when you can use it. So step one, replace the middle part with u and the first part with u squared. So this becomes u squared plus 7u minus 18 equal to 0. Now step two is to solve for u. Well this one factors using the PSD method. We have u squared u, no u, no number in front of u squared. So this factors as u plus 9 times u minus 2 equal to 0. Zero factor property. You get 0 on one side and you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. So I'll set u plus 9 equal to 0 and u minus 2 equal to 0 and solve them and I get u is equal to negative 9 and u is equal to positive 2. Step 3. Plug u equals blank back in and solve for x. So whatever we said u was up here, the middle part, is what we will now plug in. So we got e to the x is equal to negative 9 and e to the x is equal to positive 2. Now these, we use our four steps for solving the exponential equation. Um, I'll start with this one on the left first. Um, first step is to get the part of the variable in the exponent by itself. No numbers in front of it, no numbers after it. Well, that fits. Our next step is to take natural log of both sides. So we got ln e to the x is equal to ln negative 9. Now remember, we cannot have log of a negative number, so we cross this out. That's not going to give us an answer. We're going to do the same steps over here. Get the part of the variable in the exponent by itself. No numbers in front, no numbers after. That's done. Uh, second step is to take natural log of both sides. So ln e to the x is equal to ln 2. Now step 3 is to get use properties of logs to get the variable out of the exponent. Remember, if you have natural log, that's base e. And if these match the numbers here, then the ln and the e's will cancel. And we're left with just the exponent, which in this case is x. And so uh, we've already solved for x, so x equals natural log of 2 is our answer.